Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in surviving the aftermath. Guys, we knew it was coming. I had mentioned this the other day. The update finally dropped. And I think from what I've seen, and we'll go over some of the stuff here in just a second. From what I've seen, I think it would be in our best interest to go ahead, restart one more time. I'm not going to do a new season or anything like that. We're just going to continue on in the same, uh, same playlist on YouTube. So don't worry about that. But we're going to start over and we're going to check out what the new update has to offer. So... First thing, Steam Workshop. Mod support for Steam Workshop. Yay! Things are going to happen. Next, Colony Map Generation. This is the one that happened that makes me think uh, we're going to need to restart so that we can see a new a new thing, a new new stuff. Um, so like you see right here, it says soil and deposit generation has been reworked for more varied, variety. Uh, I can't even speak now, varied post-apocalyptic scenery and gameplay. Sorry, it's a little bit early and I stayed up kind of late last night messing with stuff. Uh, soil areas are bigger and large deposits spawn into concentrated clusters. So we'll get like several um metal deposits together several plastic you know so forth and so forth instead of it being randomly scattered now as far as that goes i'm not a hundred percent sure if i agree with that i kind of like the random sparseness of it um but at the same time i can see the benefits of having it all together Next, Outpost and Settlers. The renewal of Outpost system starts in this update. From now on, Outposts are built by using a Settler unit, which is created by converting a specialist into a Settler at the Outpost Depot. This new unit then heads to the world map to build our current resource transport outpost on a free sector. We'll be introducing more Outpost features in future updates. So basically... This is going to be one of those we need to accept any and every specialist. And when we do, we need to figure out which one we're going to sacrifice. Because once you change them into a settler and turn them into an outpost, that's it. You don't get them back. It's irreversible. Nothing can be changed. Let's see, what else do we got? We've got the AI and quality of life. That one basically lets you prioritize buildings. Um, replaces the old system that created a lot of issues. We've seen some of those issues. Colonists also prioritize carrying resources in danger of decaying and stock up buildings like burners more evenly. So their AI is a little bit smarter. They know what they're doing a little bit better. Several advanced utility buildings like large transformers can now be built straight from the build menu. Once researched, AI has been improved. So no longer do we have to build like the small transformer and then the big upgrade it to the big one. We can just put down a big one, which makes complete sense to have that ability to just build the bigger one. Uh, other improvements. Resources dropped at the colony are now clearly visible next to the gate. Construction zone info panels have been updated to show more accurate information. Bandit camps have more health but less damage to reduce the number of trips back home to heal. Mess hall is now the only place to make mixed or insect meals. But also produces them faster. Nuclear fallout will now irradiate less people. So, that is a whole lot of things, guys. We got a whole lot of stuff. Um, I'm excited to check it out. I'm really glad that I didn't. Uh, I didn't start the game like as soon as we had ended the last season because yeah, I'd, I'd probably be upset right now. But only five episodes in. We're going to go ahead and start a new game. 
All right. Uh, yeah, we can. I'm going to just keep doing the tutorial messages until they kind of get the game situated. Because if they ever change anything, I'd like to know. So we're going to go ahead and do just like we did before. We're going to pick the middle ground on everything. And yeah, we're at 67% difficulty. I'm going to pick Raj. I'm going to pick Makita. And I am going to pick the... Hold on. Oh, for a second, I thought that was... Yeah, I don't know why. I thought that was Dragon for a second. I was about to say, wait a minute. They put Dragon in here? I want Dragon. No, we're going to go with Hex. All right. And we're going to get our colors. I'm going to change this back to the Disturbium. And we're, no, we're going to keep, we're going to keep on surviving right here. Hold on. Oops. I can't type today. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's hop on in and see what a new game is going to bring us. The waiting, the anticipation. It does seem like load times are a little bit longer. Like when I had first uh, loaded up the game, it seemed like it took a lot longer to load in. So I don't know if that's going to be a new thing or if they're going to streamline that or what's going to go on there. Okay, so there's the gate. Um, wow, we don't have, well, there's some water out there. I was going to say we don't have much water, uh, but we have lots of fertile land. That is for sure. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to grab y'all. I'm going to tell you to go over here. Just kind of expose a little bit of this. Alright. We've got a little bit of that exposed. Okay, yeah, we have plenty of time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Piggy, piggy, piggy. You are not supposed to be messing with me, Mr. Piggy. All right. Well, that gives me a uh, that gives me a little bit of a better look at what we got going on. So, we've got metal here, we've got concrete, concrete, planks, plastic. So I'm a little bit confused because I thought similar things were supposed to be piled up and it doesn't seem like that. It seems like groupings of stuff. I mean, this is probably the best grouping of wood that I've seen. Um, interesting. We'll have to, we'll have to explore it a little bit later and see what, what can be done with this. All right. Finding a piece of habitable land is no easy task at the end of the world. What you see before you is what is left of us and our planet. It falls to you to rebuild society with the aid of your people and the modest resources you set out with. Welcome to the aftermath, survivor. Start by building a campsite to mark the center of your colony. Scout for a suitable location from the mist by moving your specialist. Okay. So, I'm kind of thinking, I really don't want, I don't know, I know we're going to use this green grass area um, here at the beginning. I know we're not going to be able to keep farms and stuff. Well, I mean, I'd like to try to keep farms off of it, but it's going to be a little bit difficult. So, 
I'm wondering, do we want... I don't know if I want the uh, camp to be down here at the bottom or like, I don't know. Part of me says put it up here. Let me see. I'm going to put it up here. Okay, so we got that. Now we're going to go ahead and try to get some of our other stuff situated here. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, I'm going to bring... I had a thought, but I don't think that thought's going to really really work in this situation hmm okay I'm gonna put that there I'm gonna put food storage right behind it uh, let's see yeah we can do some emergency shelters Put one right there. Put one right there. Um, let's see. We've got a fishing pier or a trapper. Um, I kind of like the fishing piers. It's only 66% efficient, though. All right, I guess we're going to put one right there. Little little fishing pier. And we're going to do a trapper. And I think... I'm going to do the trapper like right there. Okay, so we've got that. Let's come back down in here. Let's do a water well. Um, Yeah, that figures it would be down here, huh? Yeah, let's do a water well right there. All right, y'all build all this stuff. Yeah, we're looking good so far. Okay, so we're going to gather up some resources while we're waiting. Uh, nothing that couldn't be done while the, stu uh, while the colonists are coming in. But I kind of want to get this one removed. And I just want to make sure we have a little bit of concrete... Because I know as soon as we get people in, we're going to have to start getting stuff done. So, just trying to prepare. Can I get the gate built before? Hold on, where's that at? No, invite colonists to unlock. Okay, so we've got to have the colonists unlock the gate. Uh, 
Okay, so we got that. Now, where did that piggy go? Oh, we forgot to build that fishing pier. Go build that fishing pier. Hmm. There it is right there. Found it. Okay, you two come and get that piggy, please. People are waiting for you. I know people are waiting for me. Yeah, you just keep working on that concrete for right now. I got a little bit more on that. That's fine. So, so far I'm kind of, I don't know, the, the new map. It's interesting. I want to explore a little bit more of it before I make a uh, any any real comments on it. But it is a little bit different. So... Yeah, 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 I know. Alright, let's go ahead and let them in. And there's the flare. Prompted by the specialist signal flare, the rest of your group arrives at the prepared campsite. Despite all the hardships ahead, it is time to rebuild and turn this hostile place into a home. Alright, where are y'all going? Y'all are still... Yeah, they're still gathering. Alright, so while we have that, have we unlocked... Yes, we have unlocked dirt roads. Dirt roads, that's what I needed. Okay, so we've got... We've got that. I'm going to try not to knock those trees down. We'll cut them back with loggers and whatnot, but... No, that's not too bad. I kind of like this. You know, I might put farms here in the middle. That might be it. Well, I don't know. Do I want to put farms there? I kind of do. I kind of don't. We'll see. We shall see. I need to build another water well, though. I know that for sure. Um, yeah, I might have to put that kind of, kind of far back over here. Hold on. All right, a colonist has an idea. One of the colonists approaches you, appearing more than a bit nervous. She says that she might be able to provide some clothing for the colony. Her grandmother used to teach her while she was a child, and she seems fairly confident that she still remembers how it goes. The question is, do you trust her skills? Do it. You give her some fiber and she thanks you for trusting her. After not hearing from her for a while, you decide to go take a look. The little bit 
the little fiber that hasn't been ruined has been mangled into a patchy, poorly made coat that will surely fail to protect even from the slightest dribble. Sorry, I really tried, the woman says, unable to meet your gaze. Well, we lost three fiber. That's okay. The last time we did that, we actually got like eight coats. So it was a worthy gamble. Yeah, y'all build that other water deal out there. Okay, they finished that. We've got water coming in now. That is excellent. Uh, we need to get things. We need to get the... I need to get a lumber yard. I need to get a logging camp. I need the scrapper. I need the recycler. Yeah, we're going to need all of that. Uh, okay, so while we're waiting on that, where are my peoples? Peoples, 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 peoples. I see. They're all right there. Okay, all three of y'all, I want you coming over here to get that. This, I want this work area moved to right here. What do we got here? We've got metal. Okay, so give me a scrapper. I'm going to put the scrapper right here. Give me the recycler. I'm going to put the recycler right here. To start with. And then I'm going to move this work area Hmm. Wow, it's harder to find like a hundred percent way over here, huh? Okay. A little bit of a walk, but it's more efficient over there. Of course, then again, this is right here. That might have... I don't know. I don't know if that's better or not. Let's see what we got going on. Smoking salmon. Uh-oh. A colonist is being berated and pushed around by their neighbors. Apparently, they had fallen asleep while working at the fishery, and their little campfire got out of control. Now the building is in danger of burning down, with today's catch still inside. Uh, tell them to fetch the fish, put out the fire first. I say we put out the fire first. Small group is assigned to put out the fire. They managed to do so, but not before all the fish inside is burnt to ash. Well, at least we still have our building. We can catch more fish. All right, so what do we got here? We've got the scrapper. Here is a spot for the scrapper. And let's see here. Where, oh, where, oh, where is a spot? Is that, that is plastic, isn't it? Yeah, let's go ahead and put that up there. There we go. Alright, and yes, we do have shelter space for everybody, so that is good. Let's see, let me go ahead and I want to go explore a little bit. I want to see what it is that has happened with this map a little bit. Oh, I bet you that's the edge of the map right there. Well, that's kind of cool how they put us in like a little little valley type thing. Yeah, we can't select up there.
plastic, metal. That's cool, the little buildings. I don't think I've ever seen those before. Uh, did we not re- whoa, 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 Why are we not repairing it? Repair it. I think, I think I thought they were going to automatically repair that one. I was wrong. They are not very intelligent. I don't like the fact that you can't use any of that land right there. Like, if you could reclaim buildings or something, I think that'd make that a little bit better. I mean, I do like the fact that there are ruins. There should be ruins. I mean, it only makes sense to have some sort of ruins. It's just, it'd be nice to be able to clear all of them. Or, like, fill in the craters or something like that, you know. Little things, little things. But anyway, so far we're looking pretty good. Let me check out on the milestones. So we've got our first settlers. Um, I am not seeing any any new ones. So I think those are all the same. So that's okay. We'll get those built back up here shortly. Alright, let's go ahead and put down... I need to get the lumber yard put down. Um, where do I want to put that though? Hmm. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put a road here and I'm going to use it to clear out the stuff that is directly behind the building. That way we can kind of utilize this area a little bit. Oh, it's done. Very, very nice. Yeah, we're just going to let you do that right there. So, that is excellent. So we'll let that run for a little bit. We'll get uh, we'll get some planks made up. That will get me ready to start building other things. Let's see our research. We need to get into some of that. Let's go ahead. Oh, not enough science points. Oh, we don't have any science points. I thought we started out with some science points. Maybe we don't start out with science points. Okay. I could have swore. I'm going to have to go back and check that video. Unless you guys know. If you guys know, put it down in the comments. If the last one that we started a few days ago, if I started out with research points or not. Because I thought I did. And then like real quickly right after we started, we got more. But I could have swore we started out with like 250 points or something. But, ah, eh, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, I think that will do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always... Feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.